All right, so this morning we are on Bloom Watch, the stinkiest flower known to man. Three of them at the U.S. Botanic Garden. Have you ever had a chance to smell it? No, no. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe fortunately, right, for some of us. Well, after having just one blossom on the corpse flower the previous times when it opened, this time we're talking about three, and the tallest one could open up this weekend. WSA 9 Stephanie Gail Hart is at the Botanic Garden with this story. Hey, Stephanie. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, bottom line, the flowers are stinky, they're nauseating, and they smell like rotting flesh, if you can believe it, but people love them. They go crazy for them. And there's a cult-like following surrounding the three corpse flowers here at the U.S. Botanic Gardens. I want to get over now to Bill McLaughlin. Thanks for joining me this morning. Great to be here. So we're surrounded by plant-like celebrities right now. These are this is as good as it gets in the plant world. These are these are like our pandas, uh, and this is a super rare event because we have actually three getting ready to bloom in the same time period. I don't think that's ever happened before in North America, so it's a first. That's really exciting and yeah, just amazing. And Bill, explain to me exactly why they smell this way. Well, they're not like the beautiful flowers that smell great to attract uh, bees or butterflies. These attract carrion beetles, which are drawn to animal carcasses. So this thing does its best imitation of a dead animal in the plant world. There are lots of other stinky flowers, but this is the king of them all. They're native to Sumatra. Yes, yes. So they're from a very tropical climate with very even warm to hot temperatures and lots of rainfall. So we do our best to imitate that tropical rainforest feeling for them. And obviously they've been pretty happy. You told me earlier the blooming requires a lot of energy. Yeah, these things actually are coming up from an underground corm, this big sort of bulb, and it takes several years. Uh, we're really proud of the, the guy on the left here because it's only five and a half years old or so, and that's really young for them. Uh, we put on display the corm of the plant that bloomed here last year, and it's actually relatively small. It's only about 35, 40 pounds, uh, but still, that's a pretty big underground structure, you know. Um, normally, these things are making a huge umbrella-like leaf that'll last a year, year and a half, and it'll do this for years and years before it builds up enough energy to do this an amazing feat, which involves not only making that stench, but a, a heat. Last year, we, we recorded about 115 Fahrenheit coming off of one of these. So it's actually pumping that smell up in the air in the Sumatra nighttime to bring those beetles that are flying around looking for dead bodies. Who would have known? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. These, are, these are plants with personality. All right. That's for sure, Bill. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. And guys, once the corpse flowers here do bloom, you can smell that disgusting stench. You can take a whiff of them for about one to two days.